incurable jewels. So I wanted to do a video about like hospital life. So what it's like in the hospital. So I've never been an ICU patient. I'm um, usually a med surge, which basically means when I'm admitted to the hospital, I'm stable, my blood work is fine, and everything looks fine other than infection or something, which usually it's been infections. So the first time I was admitted to the hospital was sepsis, and the second time it's MRSA. So usually I go to the ER, and that's where they find the stuff and then um, they usually admit you once you are positive for it. Once you're admitted to the hospital, you're usually moved up into a room where you have a bed, and some of the hospitals I've been at have roommates, which I can go into a whole other video about hospital roommates. These are old people. I'm always the youngest on the floor, so, and I'm always the most alert on the floor as well because I'm usually, again, a med surge patient, so I'm usually able to up, get up and walk around. They usually, most hospitals won't let you leave. The, like, they'll let you walk around the floor, but they won't let you leave that floor, so you can't really go outside, you can't really see the sun, like all that sort of stuff. Um, I almost always leave my artificial lights off and open the windows because I like the natural light to come in because as much natural light as I can get in the hospital, I'm going to try to get because I love that good old vitamin D makes you happy. Um, so that's my advice. If you ever move to the hospital, make sure to bring lots of like entertainment stuff. I always have my iPad with me so that I can watch my own Netflix shows. I love a good K-drama while I'm in the hospital because they're just so wholesome and honest and like true and I just love a good K-drama. And I usually always have my paints and coloring books. I usually always bring one stuffed animal so that I can cuddle with it at night to feel less like, you know, I'm alone. Um, now let's get into the annoying parts of being in the hospital. Okay, so... The annoying parts of being in the hospital is it's hard to take showers because you're hooked up to IVs most of the time. So that's kind of annoying. Um, they don't really give you good shampoo or conditioner or anything. So I usually have my boyfriend bring stuff for me so that I can take good, nice showers if I, like, you know, have the time or I'm able to. Right now I have not been able to just because I've been hooked up to this 24 seven. So I haven't really been able to take a shower, but I do wipe myself down with cloths that they give me in the bathroom. They usually give me um, toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff so I don't have to bring that. Um, the other thing is, is expect to be woken up about a million times in the middle of the night because guaranteed they'll come in three or four times in the middle of the night to wake you up and get your vitals do blood work, set up your night meds. Like for me, they have to come in at 10 and do my TPN and lipids. So they have to wake me up for that and they have to do vitals and then all that sort of stuff. And they have to do blood work at 4 a.m. in the morning. So I always get woken up at 4 a.m. in the morning for blood work, which is not very fun. Luckily, they can pull it out of my pick line so I don't have to get stuck by an IV. Um, so that is the perk of having a pick line. Although I will say there are not very many perks anymore. I want to get this thing the heck out of my arm because it's just caused so many dang infections. But um, yeah, I kind of just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about hospital life, what it's like. I feel like I gave you guys a good synopsis of what it's like. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting content. And I'll catch you all later. Stay strong. Bye.